athletes on the high school team are going to college on an athletic scholarship. One group of students play hockey. Another group of students watch hockey for the fun of it, especially the Colorado Avalanche. However, both groups of students are so preoccupied with hockey, they aren't interested in learning advanced math. Worse, they don't bother knowing how math applies to their daily life. The two end results aren't so satisfactory. Low test scores in math and poor academic performance in that subject. At the Colorado Department of Education, Angela Zimmerman is the dropout prevention specialist. She responds to that unsavory statistic. There's an excellent opportunity for the teacher to take the students' passions, one group of playing hockey, one group of watching hockey, and combine that into a lesson, both meaningful, rigorous, and relevant for the student. A way for students to fully become engaged in their learning. They're going to figure out um, velocity. You can expand that into using it in science lessons. They can write about their favorite players in language arts. They can um, take that subject and um, the teacher can use it in physical education, art. Um, it really takes a in-tune teacher to know what their students' passions are so they can really feed off of it and make learning relevant to the student. To end this disturbing trend, how about those students use this method? Take those lessons from algebra and geometry and apply that to hockey. Here's the four-step method. Step one is to know how many inches of a hockey puck. Step two, measure the puck by its radius. Step three, measure the puck by area and circumference. Keep in mind, pi equals 3.14. Last step, measure the formula for right circular cylinder. That approach to learning algebra and geometry, how can that method turn academic progress around even at the high school and college levels? That's a very good question. Engagement is the key to student success. So if students are interested in what they're learning, they're going to be engaged and they're going to achieve miles more than they would have if they weren't on standardized achievement tests and just in general they have an intrinsic motivation to do better because they're interested in what they're learning about. In the math textbook when students come across those lessons they should think of the hockey puck method that way students will learn how to measure radius, area and circumference, and formula for right circular cylinder as well as all the other 3D shapes. The end result, not only the improvement of test scores, but students who love hockey will have a blast learning algebra and geometry. Scoop Nemeth reporting.